Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, JPM Doc Cuisine. And today, we're doing a four-month review. It's a little bit late, but <laughs> this is the four-month review of the Enzo HD knives. And I'm just grouping them together because I've been using them together. So instead of doing a separate video for each, uh, we're just going to go ahead and talk about all three. Uh, we're going to start with the Petty, the five and a half inch prep knife. Then we'll talk about the eight inch uh, Gyoto. And then finally, we'll talk about the six and a half inch Nakiri. These are the Enzo HDs by Cutlery and more. Uh, they're made out of Seki City, Japan uh, by Yaxel. So even though they're Enzo, uh, the Enzo line or the Enzo Hammer Damascus line, they are made by Yaxel uh, in Japan for Cutlery and more. And let's go ahead and get into the, the quick discussion about them. So as you remember, or if you recall from the original video, here we have the micarta handles uh, with the triple rivet. It's a single piece micarta, so it feels very comfortable all the way around. We've got the stainless steel caps and bolsters, but this is, I think, the 30-something uh, layer BG10 Damascus. And this right here is the prep knife. Um, over the course of the, the four months, or four, four plus months now in this case, I've been using these knives uh, pretty regularly, and you know they're actually very, very comfortable. The difference between the knives that I have here uh, is primarily in the handle of the Petty, the, or the prep knife, if you will. The five and a half inch prep knife, this one has a small handle. So even when you use it, if you notice, you get really good clearance when you're doing any kind of rocking with this knife. So as you pinch up, you've got very good clearance with that small grip. So even though it feels smaller than you might be used to, this knife, absolute dream. Um, let's go ahead and check some of the sharpness on it. I'm not gonna check the weight, uh, and I'm sure you guys have already seen it, but you know, the, with the micarta handles, you get a little bit more weight uh, on the handle itself. So the balance goes back from the edge, this one, you kind of want more of a handle heavy knife with a prep knife. Uh, but we'll just go ahead and get into some of this paper cutting here. Oop. As I'm prepared or not prepared. So I haven't sharpened this one since um, I've been using it. I haven't even hit it with a honing rod. Um, this is basically the sharpness and the edge durability from the type of steel that it is. Uh, very comfortable. We'll go ahead and just go through all of them and I'll go back to talking about the um, individual knives. So here is the 8 inch Gyoto. Again, I haven't touched it. Very clean. You can sort of feel some um, some parts of the edge that would benefit from having at least a strop or so. Um, maybe hitting it with a, uh, with a, uh, a honing rod, but uh, it's still fairly sharp and that's sort of why I avoid the test in general. Um, it's very easy to fool somebody with magazine paper and, and a knife that may not be as dull. I'll fill it, um, like on this neck here, there's a little bit of a, uh, a part right near the tip that probably would benefit from a strop as well. Again, four months going through, using them uh, pretty much daily, but just rotating through the knives that I have. So let's go back to the the, uh, the prep knife. It feels very good in the hand. It's got more of a Kuritsuke style uh, edge on it. So it's kind of like a benefit. It almost reminds me of sort of a cheese knife, if you will. But uh, very good handle, very comfortable in your hand, even though you might complain about the small handle, that gives you a benefit of having more clearance here. So if you wanted to do any kind of rocking with it or some herbs. Uh, that straight edge is going to give you sort of a hybrid between a Nakiri and your regular Gyoto. So if you wanted to do some herb chopping, um, I like to control the front end with my hand. So keeping everything out from underneath, but I can sort of help rock and pivot with that. So that feels very good. The five and a half inch isn't intimidating like the eight inch or 10 inch. So it's just in between sort of your six inch chef's knife and your five inch utility knife. But all in all, hammered finish, uh, pretty good. It's got some scratches from use, but nothing major. 
Um, the one thing I wish that they would do is probably polish this and round off the spine a little bit more. I'm, I cater to that a little bit more, but it doesn't impact the, the quality of this knife uh, and the performance. So I've enjoyed using this one for the four plus months that I've had it. Okay, the next one is the Enzo 8-inch Chef's Knife, and this has the large handle or the, the regular handle. The balance, again, this is my Carta, so my Carta is going to have a little bit more weight um, compared to a wood or something else. Uh, but the balance, again, is probably about an inch or a little bit less than an inch away from the choil and the, the heel of the knife. Again, very good. Primarily, I, I don't use this one for a lot of chopping, even though you could. With VG10, again, if you're cutting into bone or something, you know, there's a, there's a concern that you're gonna chip, so I haven't been doing anything like that. Uh, but I like to use this primarily for slicing. So like slicing through meat or steak or coming out with, you know, something like that. This is where I find a great use for this. So why would I use the chef's knife or the prep knife versus, you know, the other? Well, for me, Going for this one, very simple. Uh, it's just easier to clean because it's smaller. Uh, it just sort of feels convenient compared to this one. But when I'm gonna cut something larger than the edge or that blade, I'm definitely gonna go for the eight inch. And the eight inch is sort of that utility size for everything. Um, it does feel really good. Uh, if you did pick up this set, again, since it's VG10, you're probably gonna be a little bit more uh, uh, nervous about it chipping just because of the stories about VG10 in itself, but you know It does feel like a very good premium knife uh, I think if you can get these at like $99 or so on sale, they're an absolute steal. I would pick up uh, All of them if, if you could um, They're a good combo set with the three so having an eight inch the five and a half inch prep and then the Kiri, I think it's going to be a good pickup for anyone. The Nakiri is obviously handle heavy, um, and you can feel that immediately uh, within uh, the balance. It's again feels a little bit heavier than the eight inch, but it's a very good knife for chopping straight down cleanly. Uh, it's got a very good finish on it. The hammered Damascus, I think, is the hammered finish number one. I think is gorgeous. I love the way that it looks. I don't think that there's any practicality or functionality from having the hammered Damascus. Um, I thought maybe if you're cutting through something, you might create some air pockets, but depending on the size of the vegetable, you're most likely cutting here where the Damascus line is, and you're not even impacted by the benefit of the uh, the air pockets. So. Maybe with potatoes, I had, haven't noticed, but I usually cut everything in half anyway, so I never have the full benefit where I'm cutting through something as large as this, where I would get a full benefit from the Hammer Damascus. The feel though, they feel like very quality knives. Um, I know that they have knives out there like Kamikoto or something like that. Uh, if you can, I honestly do recommend these. I think I recommend these over even any of the, the VG10 Shuns just because of the pricing. They're a bargain for the pricing and they're they're pretty fantastic for what they do. Um, if you're in the market for a Japanese style set, if you've never owned one before, this is probably a good, way, a good spot to begin with if you're looking for a hammered Damascus look. Um, I don't think the Damascus look has anything or any impact on the performance but definitely has sort of a sex appeal to it, where if you see these um, on, a, on a rack or see them on, on the counter, you know, there maybe be a conversation piece there. So we're just gonna do some quick testing with the, the sharpness. Again, I haven't sharpened this. I haven't sharpened these since I've been using them. So they are as they were from factory. And I'm just gonna do some commit, uh, tomato cutting for you. So you can tell that, you know, these edges after four plus months are gonna benefit from a sharpen, but they're still pretty dang sharp. Um, so using the entire length of the blade, these are some of the better filling knives that I've used. Um, 
in comparison of all the Japanese VG10 style hammer Damascus looks. Um, still very, very nice knives. Um, <clears throat> the edge will last you uh, obviously four plus months, everyday use, normal wear and tear, nothing uh, outside of the norm, but you know, they're very good uh, in terms of maintaining the sharpness. Let's see, stop talking and just cut. So of course, in terms of the benefit of having VG10, while they maintain a pretty sharp edge, they're not razor sharp like out of the box. So if you've been thinking that you can buy VG10 and never sharpen them ever, that's a fallacy. You're definitely gonna need to hit these on a sharpening stone. So here's the Nakiri. Still has held up very well. Still feels, you know, solid. So uh, this is probably still gonna be sharper than most of the knives that you've been using. Assuming that the knives that you've been using have been more of a 3CR13 or maybe even an X50 or something of that sort, like a German steel. Uh, but these feel fantastic cutting through. So with the Nakiri, a straight cut. This is probably one of the better Nakiris that I've tested on the market. Um, with the Kyoto, still cutting through. Feels very good, very decent slice. And then with the prep knife, which this one's tiny and uh, you feel like you have a lot more precision with this one, especially when you cut through. Um, this one is actually a really a, a joy to use when chopping onions or dicing things just because it feels uh, very good in the hand. Uh, again, I didn't wanna do any kind of sharpening or anything that would Im impact sort of the testing. So I wanted you guys to see how they perform after four months of straight use without any uh, touch up. All right, well that has been my four month review of the uh, Enzo HDs by Cutler and Moore. Uh, a very fine set if you're looking for the Japanese style Damascus look or even the hammered look. The, uh, mic uh, the micarta handles, uh, I can't say enough good things about micarta handles, especially compared to Paka wood or some other wood. These are a good choice. G10 is also a good choice. But uh, as you can see, they're not chipped. I haven't done anything to damage them. So I think they hold up pretty well. Uh, this right here would be probably the beginner set that I would consider getting with the five and a half inch prep, the eight inch chef, and the six and a half inch Nakiri. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for your support. We'll see you in the next one.